In the blast zone. Oh. Sure. Hey everybody! I'm back! Hi Boss is back after being bodied on stream. Mm -hmm. well, we're not gonna see any bodies on stream right now. Spargo versus Ze uh, Zenyu. Spargo versus Zenyu. So, as you said, Spargo is one of the best clouds. Yes. As I was saying. And Zenyu, one of the most innovative Marios, one of the most adaptive I've seen in a bit. So, hopping around right to this. So, Spargo, so Cloud versus Mario has always been a matchup that I've known pretty well ever since Smash 4. But in this game, Cloud receives some nerfs because of his limit change, right? So, he doesn't do as well. Also, and his hitbox changes. That's true, yeah. And so, Cloud doesn't have access to infinite pressure with limit like he did in Smash 4. But he still has that pressure. Like, it's still there and it does a lot of damage. But. So Cloud versus Mario, there's some weaknesses. Like there are some weaknesses that can be exploited, and Cloud's recovery is one of them. So stock number one taken already by Zenyu, even though he's at a big disadvantage. So one, two, three. Easy as pie. So got any more? Um, really, if you're going to recover a spot, Spargo already knows this, but you, you either want it to be at the very top of your uppie, right next to the ledge, or you snap it. Is the only two, only two times that are safest for Cloud to recover, especially against Mario, who can use his Sham Wow Cape. Yep. And the flood to exploit it. So here we go. Up he had a shield. Still, Cloud a really good out of shield option for Cloud. Yep. It's one of the better ones as well as if you can hit it. It becomes invincible with limit. Uh, <coughs> Roughly frame nine, I believe. Usually you don't want to use it. It's an early frame. Yeah, but usually you don't want to use it with limit, though. That's like one of the things. So, yeah. um, so Zenyu already having a hard time. It really shows how Mario kind of struggles, especially against these sword matchups. Yeah. And Cloud is still one of them. He's been kind of out of off radar, I would say. Like when you think of sword characters in Smash Four, you would think of Cloud and Marth, right? Yeah. But now when you think of sword characters in this game, it's like Lucina and Krom and Roy. You yeah. don't really think of Cloud, but. Spargo, like you said, one of the top cloud players in this region. So he's doing a pretty good job. He's really zoning Zenyu out. Mario really lacks in range. That is one of his categories that did. And the second stock taken just like that. So what can Zenyu do in order to really come back from the situation? Um, stop throwing buttons. Um, that's one thing he told me before when I when I fought him before. Um, slow down on the buttons. Uh, he needs. He, he needs to make openings, safe openings for Mario. Because he's trying, a, a lot of this game has been trying to force openings uh, with Mario, and Mario's not really good with that. Yes, Mario creates openings and leaves them wide open. There we go. But he needs to make, he needs to do it safely. Like with Fireball, uh, back air pressure. Back air pressure itself is kind of, it, it's much harder, especially against Cloud's Buster Sword. Uh, a lot of things that Mario normally does to open up uh, his opponents that he can't do against uh, Cloud himself. Yeah, it's it's just Cloud's back here is so good, it's really strong. But here we go, the Mario combos I've been looking for. Zenyu gets a really good read on it. Is that enough to kill great DI by Spargo with a... Oh goodness, I thought that air dodge would be enough with the side tilt. He's but looking yeah. for an opportunity. But as I said before, he's Mario is able to get in on the openings and uh, break them wide open. Oh! Really nice drift. Just drifting a little bit above the forward. And the hits him with the back air. He's still alive. Crouch cancel does wonders sometimes. Yep, so he's going to be right there. Neutral get up, not punished just yet. That shield's looking awfully small, but the dash attack chips it out. Game number one goes into favor of Spark. Yeah, Cloud's dash attack is a really good burst option. Unsafe on shield, but it has really good kill power and launch power to it. Um. Cloud, Cloud's main kill tools are normally fair, back air, and dash attack. It, that is if you're not counting the smash attacks. Smash attacks, yeah. Because if you count smash attacks, it's going to be, it, you're going to count up smash as well. Up smash cover, covers a lot of area, and Spargo doing pretty well, just keeping that game close and uh, taking that stock. He almost allowed Zenyu to take his stock there. It was really close, yeah. yeah. But we're going to go back into it on uh, PS2 here. So Pokemon Stadium 2, it's like the Smash feel. 
a smash ultimate, or it's like a stage that kind of like forced to play on. But there are some matchups that don't do as well, and a lot of up tilts looking like Smash 4 right now. So here comes the Mario combos that we've been looking for. 80%, 92%. Zenyu. Yeah, a little interaction there that uh, that allowed Zenyu to continue combo is microspacing away from Spargo's bear there. He drifted it back a little bit because uh, he knew Spargo was going to swing and allowed himself enough space to continue his combo with a back air after Spargo swung for his bear. Yep, and here we go. Uppy is out of shield, 50%. Already fighting back really well. And Zenyu, I, I would like to say that Spargo's shield pressure is amazing on this cloud. Like, when Zenyu pops up his shield, it's always small. Like, yes. I've never seen it at full size. Alright, forward tilt there. Not gonna get the dare on the recovery there. I like the option, but that up smash a little bit too antsy. Gonna get him punished with the back air. Ooh, up smash misses. The frame data did not connect there. Hedge guard attempt from Spargo. Not gonna work out. Shielding it up. Great up smash to finish it out. Spargo may regain limit, but it just wasn't enough. And a down air, so it, this is the time that Zenyu needs to run away with this stock. Yep, and just like that, Zenyu getting a solid 33% off of the up throw. Yep, so fourth throw to get him off the stage. Great job by Zenyu to get off of that really bad pressure situation, but mucked right back into it. They're using the cape to slow his momentum. Still a really good option in this game, but I love how Zenyu, he isn't afraid to be in the corner. Yes. Like he isn't immediately looking, looking to get it a way out. He's willing to stay there for a few more seconds, and because most players need, they want to get to center stage as soon as possible, and then they make some mistakes out of it. So the down air, it's not enough to take it, and Sparkle still got the limit, and great roll. Great roll by Zenyu to get out of that situation, but 164, that's a lot of rage for Mario to deal with. Yeah, and it's unfortunate, Clouds. Cloud's up there getting nerfed there. He could have definitely died if he was Smash 4 up there, but he scoops Ooh. him up with the dash tag. Starts very low and goes up high. Good yeah. awareness from Spargo, knowing that Zenyu was just stalling on the ledge there. Yeah, Cloud's dash tag reaches and his down tilt reaches. So they're both really good options on getting air. So here we go, up air chains. The last one does miss though, but great awareness by Zenyu to shield the bear. That was coming from Cloud. Here we go, combo's coming in. Does he have a jump? He's got a jump. Like great usage of the up special to avoid it out. Spargo doing his best. That was great. It was a great play. Like you saw it evolving out, but it just didn't end up working out. Yeah, cross limits cross slash not gonna do them wonders. And that forward smash Gordon going to just barely miss for Zenyu there. Spargo swinging at the ledge here, but can Zenyu continue to hold center stage like he's been? Oh goodness, that's another mistake. And the jab is the only punish to be able to get. And as well as using that, great use of catching the air dodge. Sparkle, no air dodge left, but he's going to be fine. Another thing about this matchup is Zenyu knows what Cloud wants to do simply simply because Zenyu does play Cloud. Uh, and I, there we go. Yeah, there we go. He either, I think he he still plays Cloud, but he definitely played Cloud in Smash 4. Mm -hmm. So he still knows what Cloud wants to do because his general play style has to stay the same. It's oh, just, here we go. He needed to adjust based on. Here the comes the yeah. combos! Send you with the spikes and sparkle right down to the shadow realm. Yeah, he definitely Great. adjusted so to the new mechanics. Will be tortured for all eternity. You saw, you saw the combo coming out, and you know exactly what was happening. Oh happened. yeah, I just you kept knew exactly what was I happening. just kept talking because that's just, that's just Zenyu. You know, like, <laughs> I, I don't need to hype it up. Y'all just gonna hype no, it up I, yourselves. I got you. I got you, man. I got you. So. Zenyu, like once once you see Zenyu take someone from coast to coast, you you <laughs> you already know. So, but we're already seeing Zenyu adapt. Like that's one of his special traits, especially yes. in Smash in Smash Four. And now in Smash Ultimate, he's always just been this great adaptive monster. But hopping into game number three, Zenyu's got momentum rolling in his favor. Interesting uh, thing about Zenyu too, he's been gone from the Smash Ultimate scene. I believe he's been playing melee lately. Really? So. Um, it, ha it doesn't even look like he's he's been gone long. He's still solid on his confirms. He was playing. Uh, he was at a uh, mango. Yeah. So he hasn't been on. I I've seen him. Uh, yeah, play. But, but most of his time now is spent with melee. From yes. What I, when I heard. He plays JRPGs. That's why I catch him on the stream. When he's okay. Playing them. But Spargo doing the best as he can. That was a Smash 4 interaction with both of them shielding towards each other, but I think right forward. It's still a really close game, but the air dodge caught out by there. He's got no shield. He's got a jump. My bad. 
I like I do like these dare attempts from Spario here. He's trying to catch Zenyu on on his upkeep, but he's doing it a little bit too early. Yeah. He has to anticipate uh when uh, Zenyu's time. Oh my did you see that play? Yes. Did you see that play? He used flood to get back. He used the flood to get more stage control, pushing him away so he can get escape the corner, and then got the back throw off of that. Great job by Zenyu. It's amazing to watch this happen. I know you've seen this multiple times, but this is one of the first times I've been able to really appreciate this neutral game. Interesting. Fair has barely has a a dead zone on top of it. He just completely went through Zenyu there. Uh -oh. Whatever the case, he's got the caving, barely missed it. Very nice get him tech. He's gonna get the back air on the flood. Good confirm from Spargo there, just getting the whiff punish. Yep, so both of them on their second stock, and here we go. Limits? I love the damage. Yeah. Just do it for the damage. Uh -oh. Know that Zenyu is going to run in. He has oh, no here we options. Go. Oh, is that oh, it? Yes, Spargo's stock just gets taken out. Yeah, without limit, Cloud cannot recover from that, even at mid percents. Here we go, do fair. Again? Oh, oh, no, no he should definitely just went for it. If he had went for, for the fair after Tipper Fair there, it would have confirmed into the spike fair. So here we go. So Zenyu. When when Zenyu uses fair, you know he's going to hit it. Like, that's one of the things. He only uses it when he knows he's going to hit it. And here we go. Up, he had a shield. The second part doesn't connect. So Spargo really needs to play safe right now. He needs to take the stock. Because he can't he can't let Zenyu run away with the stock. Because every time Zenyu gets the percent lead and then just runs away with it, it's over. Yeah. So, doing the best he can. Zenyu's adapting, playing a little more defensive, using his aerials to wall out Spargo. And here we go, the chain's coming in the back. Air has the last one. Ooh, catching him on his drift there. He's gonna get the back. Oh, no, nope, it's no. safe. Yep, cross slash is safe on shield. Limit cross slash, I have to say. And the back here finally takes it, so Spargo's still got a chance, 84%. Go the Nair used once more Mario for throw. I like the bait from Zenyu there, just waiting out to see if Sparkle will jump. Sparkle not gonna give it to him, and Zenyu uh -oh. gonna catch that. Ooh. Ooh, didn't catch the climb hazard there. So down tilt back throw. Is that enough? Can he get the edge guard? Because Limit is coming up really soon. And a few hits. Cloud yep. should have Limit. There we right go. Now. What's the play? All right, if he gets if he gets Limit cross slash, he can get. Um, actually, no. Aerial finishing touch got nerfed to hell. Mm -hmm. He can't get that confirmed at this percent anymore. Or so we're seeing Zenyu. He can, he Zenyu can get to confirm, but he's not going to kill. And Zenyu. Wait out 15 yeah. seconds. He waited it out. That's the biggest nerf to Cloud. You don't get that much pressure. Catches out with the trade. Sparkle 158. He's got a lot of rage to work with. Yeah. So one one thing about Mario is uh -oh. he has a very bad come down game. Oh, yeah. So here we go. Doing the best no, as no, he no, can. No. Oh, God. Is Sparkle. He Sparkle, he's got it. Spargo with an amazing clutch to finish out. Gets the upset against Zenyu. Sitting him with a tipper, a buster blade, yeah. just going to catch him. Just reminding everyone he's the best Zach's player. living legacy. So great play by Spargo. That was that was just great play by both of them.